What's happening, Delco? I'm Rich Shane, and welcome to the What's Happening Delco podcast. Today, I'm joined by Francesca Ragucci. Francesca, welcome to the podcast. Hi, Rich. Thank you for having me. So, Francesca, what do you do? So, I am a resident of Delaware County. My business is Delaware County based. I photograph real estate, restaurants, and I like to say places and outdoor spaces in the area, along with social media marketing. Francesca, what can people expect when they work with you and they start working on the photography specialities that you offer? So a lot of clients like to say I am reliable. So when you schedule with me, it is easy to book a photo shoot within a week or a few days. Many times when a client works with me, I like to really get to know their space and their unique style, what they want for a picture. A lot of locations like to rely on their patrons to walk in and photograph like a restaurant, but having someone like myself who has professional equipment and knows how to really be creative and enhance architectural features will help to really make the business stand out. How did all this get started for you? What was your interest in photography and more specifically, you know, photographing buildings or spaces? Photography has always been a passion of mine ever since I was younger. I just like to go out and bring a camera wherever I go and capture some of the unique pictures that the average person may not capture. So I decided to specialize in marketing in college and belong to some photography clubs, which then led to really picking the specialization of places. So I am self-taught in architectural interior and real estate photography. Essentially, I just go out and practice when I was getting started. I practiced to the point where I was able to develop a professionalized portfolio and a website online. And even to this day, I really enjoy um, giving myself new places to photograph along with enhancing the quality of my work. Now, Getting started and going through the process of learning photography, who have been some of the influences for you? Are there photographers that you've learned from, mentored from? I know you said you did a lot of this by by learning as you went, but have there been some influences for you? So to be honest, I am my own influence. I really have not had like one person who I emulate per se, but I do like to go on YouTube and check out some photography. I really like Architectural Digest as a place to see some wow images or even more localized like Philly style or modern luxury, just to see what some of those top professionals are doing in their industry. And I'm not a copier, but I like to say, what can I do to up my game a little bit with the photography and bring a new appearance that the Delaware County businesses are not seeing yet? So what really sets you apart from what other photographers are doing or some of those trends in the marketplace right now? So as I mentioned, clients like to work with me because I am reliable. I'm someone they can either pick up the phone and call me or email me and schedule with me within days. They like to work with me because they know they're getting me at every photo shoot. And I like to come with my personality, not just with the judgment of what my photos are. So they work with me because they like me. And the conversation that we have when I'm in the house or at the restaurant or the business, and they can transfer the images I provide them on a really nice deliverable set to their social media by receiving high resolution and web size options. Why do you really think that from a standpoint where trends are, why do you think that everybody wants to copy everybody else? I mean, and I know that's just human nature, but when you start seeing the same things, do you kind of scratch your head and say, I wish I can help you take a different direction? For me, I think the trend set is definitely attributed to Instagram because people and business owners, they always want to get that next like or that next follow. So they go and they see 
what are all the other people doing who get hundreds of likes and they want to copy, copy or utilize their images for their own page. And my position as well, if you're a local business, it's not just always about getting quantity, quantity, quantity. You want your patrons who know you, like you and trust you to go to your Instagram page and be able to follow along with the updates that you're providing in your business. Architecturally speaking, or some of the things you see, is there like that quote unquote trend that you'd like to see go away? <laughs> um, I like to embrace a lot of the trends. For myself, I might not jump on top of every trend. Like with social media right now, reels are really popular and using some uh, the cool new music that younger generations like or TikTok. Right. I like to watch from behind the scenes. Sometimes I participate, but I like to say, stay to what you know and hire for what you don't know. And that's where I come into play. But I also have the opinion of you don't need to do everything as soon as it starts. If you're really good at one of the features and it's proving business for you, stick with it. And then maybe dabble in some other things here and there. Don't overwhelm yourself because then you won't do anything. Your passion comes through. Your desire and love of photography and really serving your customers come through to me. What motivates you, Francesca? What gets you out of bed every morning? What motivates me is that, number one, I get to work independently. And I really appreciate that and enjoy it. And it's something that I never take for granted. I really appreciate all the opportunities that I've been given from clients and other local business owners. And at this time, it's important for me to connect with other businesses. And for me, I am motivated by going outside in the community, walking around, seeing the new construction, and really being able to embrace this area. I like to say, you know, we go somewhere else for vacation, but sometimes I like to stay in Delaware County and act as if I'm a tourist and check out some of the new areas I haven't been to yet. All right. Now I have a whole bunch of Delco questions that you led in with that. Um, why Delco? Why Delco for you? Well, I'm born and raised in Delaware County, specifically the Marple Newtown area. So I will shout out that area. And we all know Delco, Delaware County has its own flavor. The people are very nice and tight knit and want to help each other out. So I appreciate that feel in the county. Now, you said you almost act or you, you act as a tourist in Delco. What are you seeing in Delco? What are you touring as a tourist in Delco? So essentially, I will go on different blogs that are local or just Google and locate parks or farms. I really like to go flower picking and pick all the latest cool. fruits and check out some natural scenes at the different parks. Media is one of my favorite places to go, Glen Mills. Just some areas that are a little bit more spread out as well. New Town Square, just to name a couple. All right. I know you're big on fitness. We talked a little bit about that before recording. Yeah, but, for sure. You know, you, you're ready to, you want a cheesesteak. Where are you going? Well, I am vegetarian. Okay. So I'm eating the cheesesteak. And I know um, you didn't know that before the show. I did not know that. But Wilson's Secret Sauce makes a vegetarian cheesesteak. Oh, yeah, there you That's, go. I'm going to have to check that one out. But thank you for recommending. All right. How about a pizza? Where are you going in Delco for pizza? Crust in Havertown. Okay. They have and this Detroit style I like. Perfect. Now, if you had guests coming to Delco and you wanted to kind of give them that Delco experience, where would you take them or where would you send them? I would take them to media for sure. It is definitely my favorite town in Delaware County. I like the downtown area because you have an ice cream shop, game stores, different types of restaurants. So I like that area because it's a lot of fun. It's right next to a park. So it's media. Right. And I don't want to slate any vegetarians out there, but is there a vegetarian restaurant or a spot that you go to that's your go-to in Delco? 
So I am put on the spot, so I have to think for a minute. I will say I don't know of a vegetarian only spot, but I know there are restaurants that are Italian style, like Ozzy, that serve vegetarian sushi or like lunch spots, like First Watch. I like to get the avocado toast. Um, so there are definitely spots out there. Okay. I like to Google vegetarian in Delaware County. Yeah. I mean, I think what you're going to find is with the trend and what I'm seeing more of is that that is becoming more available. It's becoming more prominent. Right. You don't just get a few things. Much more of the menu does consist of vegetarian items. I love a good smoothie, too. I love like Smoothie King. Okay, good. Even though it's not smoothie. like a mom and pop, I just love stopping there for a smoothie. <laughs> Royal Farms or Wawa, where are you stopping? Wawa. Okay. Because they do have a sandwich that is vegetarian. All right, good. That's there you another go. another thing. Wawa needs more vegetarian options. We have a direct line now to Wawa. They're going to be starting to work on that right now. Oh, good. Yeah. No, That's I just great. made that up. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Francesca, this has been awesome. Are there any things that we didn't talk about today on the podcast that you wanted to introduce and share with the listeners and, and make sure they know more about that for you? Sure thing. So just to summarize, photography and social media complement each other. I work with clients month to month on their social media. I manage it, do the content creation and everything. And a Delaware County business can capitalize on having me go to their location photograph and video them for social media. So it's like a one-stop. I'm a one-stop individual for those specializations. Are there any clients that you'd like to mention so people know and where to go for some of the work that you do? I will actually say, go to my website. I'll give a little point wherever the logo is up at the top. Okay. FrancescaRigucci.com. Uh, I presume my website will be in a show note somewhere so people yep. can click. My Instagram is Francesca underscore Ragucci. You can give me a call. I'll say easy 610-203-7650 to book a consultation. But yeah, I have a lot of testimonials from local businesses and my portfolio in photography and marketing is right on the site. So it's really simple. Tremendous. Francesca, thanks so much for your time today. This has been awesome. Looking forward to seeing more of those great photographs. We'll find you uh, eating that vegetarian item at Wawa next. But uh, hey, look, if you're looking as a business and you're looking to up your game for social media, you want more of that attention, go see Francesca Ragucci Marketing. Thank you, Rich. Thanks, Francesca.